सर माय नेम इज सौरभ सांगळे आय एम फ्रॉम नाशिक डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र आय लिव्ह इन विलेज सर आय डीड माय बीटेक इन सिव्हिल इंजिनिअरिंग इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फ्रॉम वालचंद कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग विथ द फर्स्ट क्लास सर आय डू लाईक ट्रेकिंग लिस्निंग टू सुफी म्युझिक दीज आर माय हॉबीज सर आय ऑल्सो रीड बुक्स सर सर आय एम अ फिटनेस इन दियास्ट सो आय रन डेली Yes, sir. Sir, uh, sir, during my school and college days, uh, sir, I played Kabaddi. I was the captain of my school and college Kabaddi team. Sir, uh, sir, during my junior college and my B.Tech college, I also played uh, badminton. Sir, uh, I like these two sports. Sir, I was an event manager for technical events. and uh, various non technical events in my college sir i was also a damage assessor for uh, sangli okay, college okay. be brief be brief give very short answer sweet answer long answers are not required second sir. second question why you want to become officer in cap uh, sir uh, sir during my last year of engineering uh, i get the calling that uh, defense services uh is my way to go sir uh, i like the adventurous life uh, which is provided by capf especially itbp which is my first preference sir uh, i do like trekking and all so it aligns with the uh, work which forces do sir that's why i want to join it as an officer okay good <laughs> what is the role and task of itbp sir uh, itbp is a border guarding force of india uh, sir uh, it protects the line of actual control and uh, the indo tibetan border uh, of, uh, which is between india and the tibet that is china uh, sir it is a primary function the secondary functions of itbp uh, is the recovering uh, recovering the damages uh, the human damages especially Uh, during disasters which happened in the northern regions of himalayas sir third is the uh, sir jo uh, trafficking hoti hai uh, through uh, sir through the borders indo tibetan borders sir usko rokna sir ye kuch primary functions hai okay fine so next question is related to again the forces uh yes sir on line of control bsf and army is deployed in kashmir yes sir similarly on line of actual control in opposite to china um ip and army is deployed but why yes, sir loc is more difficult than lac sir uh, sir uh, history tells us that uh, sir from the partition pakistan uh, was uh, not uh, so confident with the relationship with the india so notorious activities was was always there on the yellow sea uh, sir uh, we have we have fought uh, three wars over, over that line uh, with the pakistan sir the state sponsored terrorism, uh, terrorism is a big a big issue on that uh, line so sir uh, it's more difficult than the lsc where lsc is main actual problem is the uh, chinese pla uh, which shows aggression uh, sir time to time okay in 1965 war we were 
we had taken over the Peer Panjal ranges from Pakistan. Yes, sir. But as yes, sir. the UN protocol, we had to give back the land we had won. Yes, so do you think that we should have kept the Peer Panjal with us? Because today, again, it is a problem for us in view of the Kargil conflict and in view of the what has happened uh, three, four days back when an army vehicle was burned in Rajori Ponch area. Uh, yes, sir. During the 1964, uh, 1965 war, uh, we have reached uh, up to Lahore, sir. But, uh, sir, we have to give it back. Sir, uh, uh, sir, in my opinion, if we have uh, kept uh, kept it like that, sir, uh, sir, we will we would have been in the advantageous position on the round tables, sir. Uh, we can negotiate. Uh, with the harder terms, so that will be uh, of our advantage. Okay. What are the problems of the farmers from Nasik area? Sir, uh, sir, Nasik in terms of agriculture is a very prosperous uh, district. Sir, uh, India's largest great exporter, that is Sayadri Pharma, uh, Sayadri Farms is from Nasik, sir, but there are some difficulties for na uh, Nasik farmers, uh, sir, mainly the uh, um, onion farmers, sir. Sir, they are not getting the uh, sir, market value for their product. Sir, they are selling like 100 of tons, uh, sir, in a uh, few of the rupees. So that is the main problem. Sir, second is the Godavari water, sir. Sir, uh, Godavari and its tributaries. Sir, uh, some irrigation uh, conflicts within the districts are going on. So, sir, uh, water distribution of these rivers are the major issues uh, for the farmers, sir. Okay. Similar is the problem in Punjab also, where the capsicum was thrown by farmers on the ground. And potatoes are also thrown on the ground in West Bengal. I have seen that the yes, crop is also thrown on the ground. So government of India wanted to bring these farm laws, but they had to step back. So do you think that yes. farm laws would have helped the farmers? Uh, yes, sir. Definitely. Sir, in my opinion, farm laws was a revolutionary laws, uh, which can have changed the current, uh, current positions of the farmers. They would have elevated the farmers uh, that making the farmers producers organization making contracts with the big companies the retailers uh, sir they sir uh, with the help of these farm laws farmers would have benefited uh, benefited sir farmers uh, can have deals on their own terms sir uh, with with the backing of these farm laws so sir uh, sir uh, it should not have re revoked okay What are the other challenges before the government of Maharashtra, which should be tackled beside the agrarian problem? What are the other problems in the state of Maharashtra, which should be attended to by the government of Maharashtra? Sir, uh, first of uh, sir, big problem uh, in Maharashtra government is the political stability of the government. Sir, uh, that is a big issue. Sir, uh, we have seen uh, two regimes. Uh, I mean, sir, two governments uh, in last uh, four uh, years. Sir, uh, other than uh, political stability, may, sir, uh, competitive federalism is, is causing Maharashtra some of the big projects uh, like flowing away from the Maharashtra. Sir, we have to develop our uh, underdeveloped regions that is Ma Marathwada and Vidarbha. Sir, uh, Sir, farmer suicide is the uh, sir, big, sir, big issue, and the sir, irrigation facilities are are much developed in Pachim Maharashtra and Uttar Maharashtra region, but sir, uh, Maratwada and Vidarbha are not that developed, sir. Uh, so it has to be developed. Okay, good. Okay. Came out with the uh, problem or issue of farmer suicide. So this is a common problem in your northern India also. 
it happens in yes, Pakistan, uttar pradesh rajasthan so how this suicide rate by the farmers can be reduced can we go for the fasal bima yojana insurance of the crops uh, yes sir uh, sir on the lines of uh, what maharashtra government did uh, in the recent budget there's a fasal bima yojana they kept it for 2 rupees only per acre so sir sir it will be a revolutionary decision that uh, farmers are protected from any disasters sir uh, in terms of money uh, sir in terms of crop value so sir uh, sir this should be implemented that uh, sir uh, good insurance schemes and the providers should be encouraged okay good even the climate change is affecting the growth of the crops there have been heavy rains recently so what steps we as indians are taking to preserve the climate or to make the climate as needed as we have proposed in the paris agreement uh, yes sir sir uh, india as a leader of international solar alliance uh, sir has contributed immensely to the uh, global solar power capacity sir india has some of the big targets uh, set uh, sir the five nectar policy we have sir which are which we are implementing on the ground sir we have given the boost to the rooftop solar also the sir campus scheme we are we are going away uh, for the more and more afforestation sir uh, sir uh, these are some of the ways to tackle to sir climate change okay uh, chiroli district of maharashtra is affected with the next slide problem so what is the real situation there and to which all parts of our country next slide problem still exists uh, sir sir one time red corridor was a very very stronger sir in in india as well as maharashtra sir but uh, today in maharashtra sir nearly uh, next slide problem is vanished sir sir few talukas of gadchiroli district and bandara district are affected Uh, due to naxalites sir other than uh, sir maharashtra uh, state uh, special force against naxalite has doing some good work there sir sir other than maharashtra sir chatisgarh uh, sir telangana andhra pradesh uh, jharkhand sir these are the area some of the areas which are largely affected by naxalite problem okay your commandant has given you are in idbp as assistant commander that prepare a team of eight members those who will go for the trekking because we want to climb yes sir so how will you select the troops out of your company which has got strength of almost 100 men uh sir sir first of all uh, sir i will be choosing the willing members sir all hundreds will not be the willing members sir first because will is uh, more important than physical strength sir uh, so uh, if i had the 20 willing members sir then i will test them with the physical ability sir uh, those who can uh, sir i can test them with the push ups uh, uh, sir with the small tricks sir i can uh, sir from base from base camp to uh, 200 300 meters uh, above the base camp we can do the small trek and from that assessment i can judge my eight members of the team and sir i can select them okay what exercises will you conduct how will you acclimatize the troops for this kind of training Uh, sir exercises are uh, long breathing exercises because sir on heights we need the sir stronger lungs sir then uh, sir push ups pull ups 
sir uh, this kind of exercises i will uh, i will uh, uh, miss our company will do sir for acclimatization we will go to the base camp sir uh, base camp has the similar conditions but uh, but not the harsher harsher climate as uh, it will be on the height sir uh, where we will stay for the 10 15 days sir we will run daily in that area we will do our exercises we will uh, do the short treks from base camp to height of 300 meters and came back so sir uh, we will do acclimatize with the with that environment okay good would you like to take the locals also for help for proceeding on trekking yes sir sir uh, sir in the trekking of himalayas sir when uh, direct sunlight reflects from the snow uh, it it goes in our eyes and uh, we become temporarily blind so so glasses are very necessary uh, for the trekking at higher altitudes in himalayas so i am talking of the form of locals me sherpas or nepali troops or the bhutanese or the sikkim local population which can help you which can carry your bag and baggage yes sir would you like to take their uh, uh yes sir sir uh, sir uh, during the first trek uh, to the everest uh, uh, sir uh, we we know the story of uh, things in norway so sir they have some genes in them uh, which help them to carry the load sir they they are much acclimatized in that uh, area sir uh, we can definitely take the help of them uh, from the base camp to the sir camp number 3 or 4 yes sir okay good what is the cause of conflict between china and taiwan uh, sir china and uh, taiwan once they were uh, under one empire sir uh, but the when the communist revolution came to china sir sir some of the leaders uh, flew away to the taiwan and uh, they started their separate nation so the sir china's one china policy states that uh, there exists only one china and uh, one should not recognize taiwan so sir the main conflict is about the sovereignty of the taiwan as a separate nation so the china is dom dominating over taiwan but uh, taiwan is get support from european countries and the us so sir it is a tussle between china and the us backed taiwan okay have we recognized the taliban so far oh, no sir uh, sir india's policy is that uh, we don't uh, negotiate with terrorism uh, with terrorist and uh, we don't uh, recognize them so sir we haven't recognized them but idbp have trained the women commandant uh, commandos and they'll be going to kabul and we are opening up embassy so what is that uh sir uh, it is uh, mainly for the diplomatic purposes uh sir uh, because sir in afghanistan we have our main we have our stakes sir uh, involved we have our uh, commercial uh, things to do so sir uh, uh, interest ah uh, yes sir so sir we have to do this thing what are the commercial interests how much we have invested when the taliban was being controlled by the united states in the government uh, was of karzai uh, sir uh, i don't know the exact number sir but uh, we have built their parliament we have taken the road, many road initiative sir we have built uh, three four dams over there 
sir uh, we are also planning the gas pipeline uh, from the afghanistan so sir these are the some investments we have already done uh, it was after france that invested france was the number one country and number two was the india and the help provided by us was immense yes sir so a lot of afghanis came to our country for study purpose and then they took military training also here with the nda and we yes sir cds ima but yes sir not gone back those who have got training in ima these afghani officers have not gone back and taliban is not accepting them so what to do with them Uh, sir uh, sir they are afghani citizens as per uh, sir india's opinion uh, sir uh, sir but if afghanistan is not accepting them sir uh, sir india should provide them shelter here sir they can live a civilian life here uh, sir but uh, i sir uh, sir i will oppose the idea of recruiting them in our forces and all sir uh, so they can lead the civilian life here okay okay what was the reason dictated issued by the taliban what was the latest instruction as far as the women were concerned which was given by the taliban authorities Uh, sir we all know that uh, taliban uh, is of uh, orthodox thinking they are conservatives so sir they don't want women to get educated universities and colleges are banned uh, for are got banned for the women education sir uh, sir women have uh, put under the restriction of uh, burqa and uh, who oh, the whole uh, appearance thing sir many restrictions are there uh, the timing restrictions are also there the the street restrictions uh, also there uh, for the women okay recently they come okay predict that no women should accompany the men in the park yes sir as a couple they should not be seen in the public parks Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. This Swat Valley, which is adjacent to the Afghanistan border, which is in Pakistan, and your Quetta region, Quetta region, which is also adjacent to Afghan border in Pakistan, they keep on yes, exercises. experiencing some kind of suicide attack from afghanistan side what is that uh, sir uh, sir if i am not wrong uh, sir it is a panjshi region of uh, afghanistan sir uh, sir where the rebel movement against the taliban is going on uh, is also currently going on so the suicide attempt uh, sir the suicide bombing from taliban is continuously going in that region but they are affecting the pakistan they are not striking in afghanistan they come to pakistan in the swat valley in quetta and strike their police station and lot many policemen are either killed or they enter into mosque and blast and the public is killed what is the reason uh sir the reason is uh, sir i think reason is in the history that pakistan helped uh, us army immensely uh, during the operations and uh, sir they they did not like uh, this thing so this is happening currently there is one group known as taliban which is assisting the terrorist group of pakistan yes sir so they are in collaboration with each other and then they strike at sweet will in the swat valley and in quetta region yes sir 
थैंक यू सर वट काइंड ऑफ इकोनॉमिक क्राइसिस पाकिस्तान इज पासिंग थ्रू दिस डेज सर सर फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस दे डिड नॉट हैव एनी पॉलिटिकली स्टेबल रिजीम सर 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 सो इकोनॉमिक क्राइसिस इन पाकिस्तान इज वेरी ह्यूज दैट दे आर आस्किंग फॉर द बेल आउट पैकेजेस फ्रॉम द आई एम एफ दे आर आस्किंग हेल्प फ्रॉम चाइना सऊदी अरेबिया यू ए सर सर दे दे आर करंटली इन लार्ज करंट अकाउंट डेफिसिट सो सो दे डोंट हैव मनी टू बाय ऑइल फॉर अ मंथ सर दे दे आर अंडर फूड क्राइसिस बिकॉज ऑफ द इंडस फ्लड्स सर सर बिकॉज ऑल दीज आर कंबाइंड एंड सर टैक्सेशन इन पाकिस्तान इज नॉट प्रॉपर सर दैट्स वाई दे आर इन द economic crisis okay okay last year there was uh, there were lot of floods in the indus river how it has aggravated the situation in pakistan uh, sir sir during the indus floods last year sir nearly 2/3 region of the pakistan got flooded uh, thousands of houses uh, were devastated Uh, sir, ten thousands of acres of lands got under the floods, and the whole crop over there, uh, sir, destroyed. So hence, the food security of the nation compromised there. So, sir, they they need to import even the wheat flour from the other nations. So, sir, sir, this is the condition Indus floods uh, caused in Pakistan. Okay, this after. Attack in 2019. Almost high commission from both the sides are closed. There is no air connection between the two countries. No bus connection between the two countries. No train connection between the two countries. No trade connection yes, between the two countries. That is India and Pakistan. So yes, sir. Think that there is a need to go for negotiation to sort out the issue of um, militancy in Kashmir. or to make loc a border international border loc can be made international border if both the countries agree so do you think that yes, need of negotiation sir need of negotiation is always there sir uh, sir, sir uh, table not the battle ground uh, will be the solution sir uh, war can be a temporary solution but in the long term Uh, we have to sit on the table uh, sir uh, sir communicate with each other transfer the thoughts and sir come to some consensus about our borders about our conflicts uh, about the each other's interest we have to take and care we have to take care of them uh, and sir uh, sir it will be good for both the countries mm -hmm. so you means then how should we start first of all opening up the rail routes bus route then trade and later on we can agree we can go for the negotiation or should first of all we go for the negotiation and these can follow subsequently uh sir in my opinion sir it happened after the pulwama attack the state sponsored terrorism of pakistan sir uh, sir uh, sir state centered state sponsored terrorism is a big issue and big threat to india so sir if pakistan and india can reach about the some consensus that uh, they will not support the separatist movement in kashmir or uh, uh, or the terrorism in kashmir militancy in kashmir so sir uh, we can surely on the that basic ground we can open the trade routes we can open the railway routes also sir okay but it is uh, not a guarantee from the pakistan uh, pakistan will never give guarantee they say that they are non state actors so non state actors are not in my control what do you understand yes, sir state actors sir uh, sir non state actors uh, sir which are independent of the any government 
which act on their own, which have their organization and their ways of funding the resource management, and they do the activities against the states or the against some community in the in the particular region. So they are called non-state actors. Okay, good. Um, last question. Supposing due to some reason you are unable to make mark in the merit, what is the contingency plan for you for getting a job? Uh, sir, uh, I have already applied for the Tata Institute of Social Sciences for a disaster management, uh, MSc in disaster management. So, sir, uh, sir, I will take that admission and uh, apply for the job. Sir, uh, and along with this, I will prepare uh, with the better study in the next uh, next attempt. And sir, I will surely qualify the merit. Okay, good. Let us put it here.